So um, Kenny and I are recording this. Um, it's Sunday and we were actually talking as we do um, pretty much every day. Um, but we just went through and kind of released a three part series on the economic slowdown and what's coming. And we felt like it would be wrong to just kind of leave you there. Um, it's Especially kind of, if, it's, if it was all doom and gloom, which yeah, there is some yeah. doom and gloom, but it's not all doom. And gloom. Yeah, correct. Correct. And, and so we kind of have like three things that we, we really wanted to kind of expand on a little bit that one helps you figure out if you are in the right place um, for, you know, what's to come and then a little bit of a, you know, kind of like what to watch for and then what to think about along the way. Right. So, so we have three, this is kind of a fast thought. So I'm just going to set a bit of a timer here, but so we have, we have three things we want to cover. One is around cash commitments, how to know what you've got, um, how to recognize if you're in some trouble, you know, and need to seek some expert help. Um, second one is around customer mismatch making sure that you have the right customer and you're in the right place at the right time. Um, and then the last one is about growing thoughtfully. Yeah. Um, so, so the first one, Kenny, um, on cash, you know, essentially what you want to think about is you want to know that you're on the right side of cash flow. No. So you want to know that when that you want to know that you are getting paid as fast or the same as when you've got to go and pay things. Yeah, your, your payables and your receivables, to me, definitely. Like, for you know, the expression is always the old expression, which you know, people don't get because they don't use cash, but cash is king. That's in, in tougher times, cash is king. Yeah. Like, you want to be as liquid as you can be, right? So, to me, yeah, making sure that the, your payables is what you pay people matches your receivables which was when they pay you so if you're in a Loblaws or a walmart or whomever and or amazon like amazon's net 90 these days and if if walmart or Loblaws are pushing net 45 net 60 well if you're paying your people net 15 net 30 it's a pretty you're, big gap. you're out of yeah. money for seriously long chunks yeah. of time yeah. can you manage that yeah. Right. So to, that's what it is, Phil. So pretend it's even like at home, right? If you've got nothing left on the credit card and there's nothing left in the in the in the bank machine because payday hasn't come, how do you eat? Like, how do you go yeah. buy stuff? Yeah. Right. Because you, you got no, you can't get paid because the money you're supposed to receive, your receivables, aren't matching your outflow and your payables, right? And this is again not because you're, what you're looking for is opportunity, not doom and gloom. Yeah, you know the easiest way to do that? The guys who aren't paying you, you cut them out. The people that you don't want to pay fast, you try to slow down or you move things around. But now you're into, I hate to say, it's not desperate. You're really into desperate expense management as the probably as opposed to focusing on really growing in revenue, which is what. Well, no, no, but, but, but you're not desperate yet. Like, so I think, no. I think the key here and is. I don't want you to get desperate yet. Yeah. Just pay yeah. attention to it. Yeah, and I think you the key here is to, Spot this early, right? So spot this early before you get there and then start finding ways. Like, so this is a good time to have conversations with suppliers, right? Like, so the yeah. people that supply you to say, listen, I need some more time or or I would like to find a way to pay you a little bit later, right? I'm because, not getting paid you know, in 45. I can't pay you in 15. Correct, correct. I need to have you match. Yeah, yeah. And if they can't do that, you know, then you then you, you may have to look at a, a different partnership because if you're not getting help on one side because one guy's taking too long to pay and the other one wants the money right away, well, now again, unless, if, unless you've got scads of money, if you if you can do the the financing yourself and it doesn't worry you, then don't worry about it. I guess you know, and you can weather a storm. Again, this comes back to sort of the other part. This, you know, if you've got good cogs and you've got good management, you've got cash, you just weather it. But I know, and so do you, most people don't have that luxury. Like it's typically in small business. It's Yeah, it's kind of like running, right? you, you're, you're working off 
in small business, you, you tend to work off just in time, right? Like you try yeah. and balance it to zero, zero, right? Like exactly. You're, you're running in, your goes out, world on bank accounts. Out. You can't yeah. run that. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can't look at your bank account as the indicator of where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because again, if the receivables aren't coming in, you got a shitty bank account. If your payables are leaving early, you got a shitty bank account. You can't. Yeah. You can't base the world in. You got to, you got to really probably talk to an accountant, like get somebody on side who can you, say, Hey, yeah. You know? This is a good moment to talk to a pro. So um, this is probably one of those places that we can't stress enough that if you don't know, so if the thing that we just said, that we just spent kind of five minutes talking about, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't know what your situation looks like, you should sit down and talk find to out. a pro. Um, you should find, you out. Could find out. It'll be really worth it. Chances are that a pro will look at your books and go, listen, I, I think we can make some adjustments if we have a couple of these conversations Remember that, like on the supplier side, um, people who supply use probably supply a lot of people. So they may have be having these conversations with a lot of people in terms of, can I slow down my payments? Can I whatever? So you don't want to be last on that list either, right? No. Because they're going to go to the people that they value the most, just like everything else, right? Is their, their biggest customers, the people they value the most will get the most accommodation. So you really want to try and figure this out and get to the people that are critical to you early and slow them down or figure out who's not critical and slow those guys down, knowing that you might have to just give them up. Right. I think, I think you have to, and you yeah. and I both know a lot of small brands that are growing really fast and grabbing distribution like yeah. crazy. Yeah. And you and I both sat back and said, that's wonderful. But I, just, I hope they're getting paid on time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you now is when you stop deferring those, right? Because you're you're going to run into some trouble. Yeah, and then and then what you don't know is what what you anticipate happening, like clockwork. Probably the other wrench in this is you expect a big retailer to continue to maintain their terms, but big retailers are also going to look for advantages in these spots. So it isn't out of the question. I've been with a couple of suppliers when. We had big retailers who showed up and went, hey, listen, so we're going from 45 to 60 days. Yeah. Right? And you kind of go, what? Are you gonna do? what? And um, I was with a big company. So we had finance people who went, what? That, that screws up our, but nobody really complained about it. And, and that's going to be a real problem if you're a little guy is the big guys, they will be able to absorb those kind of extra 15 days somewhere. Right. But you won't. Right. And that's not something that, you know. Phil, you and I both know what happens with the big guys. That's just when you hit what you'll see in the news. You lay off 1,000 people, 2,000 yeah. people. Yeah. Like there's there, those layoffs come from not just lack of sales. Those those layoffs come because expenses have gone up yep. or cash isn't coming yep. in at appropriate spot. Do you, I, don't, yeah. I don't want to be that person that has to lay off um, people nope. or close down or, nope. you know, nope. I, I don't, that's not. I, I hate that mentality yeah. that we have in our society where it's just so easy. Well, it's easy. Just cut 2000 people. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, that was Merry Christmas. Yeah. You know, really? That was a solution. That's not okay. nice. 